Continue on with the last of the leech family, deep water leech. When I think of deep water leech, I think about deep water. We just get a sinking line and get deep, but you've got to change your flies, don't you, when you get deep? Yeah. And, less and that, color. That, that, exactly. I mean, less so, light, not less light. color. So the, the premise behind the, the, the use of uh, the deep maroon coloration for this fly maroon. is that Ooh. that's one of the last colors to disappear in the light spectrum when you go down in depth. And particularly when you're fishing clear water, that maroon's going to really show up. And we know that's a very uh, fishy color. Trout seem to like mm -hmm. that and, and other fish species, well, a steelhead is an example. Uh, and so the deep water leech is just a, a good pattern to use in deeper water and particularly effective in our clear water lakes. Well, let's go on to the last of the leeches. I'm going to tie another leech using the turbo dubbing block to give you another example of how to use this unique little product. So the turbo dubbing block is, is um, sold by Superfly. It has a European design and it's brought in into North America for sale. It's a simple tool to use, very easy and very quick to make uh, dubbing brushes using wire cores. I'm going to tie the deep water leech now using maroon sparkle blend and it's a purple in coloration. I call it a deep water leech because that maroony red coloration is one of the last colors to disappear in the water column with light. So you can see, the fish can see this in its true colors down deeper and it's particularly effective in clear water lakes where you have the best sunlight penetration so the best presentation of actual colors. So I'll now demonstrate the use of the dubbing block. We're going to again take red, medium, soft copper wire and we're going to hook it around the post and then back around the hook on the metal spinning wheel. We're going to lay our material, our dubbing material, the sparkle blend, down the center on top of the wire like so, and then we're just going to take our copper wire and lay it down on top. I'm just going to hold it and then start spinning the block. Like so, so then we're finished. We pull it off the hook, and we've got a beautiful uh, dumping brush with a red copper wire core. Now that I've got my dubbing brush built, I've put a three extra long number six streamer hook into the vise. I've got a one eighth inch copper bead for a bead head. I've got my six hot pre-wax black tine thread that I'm laying a base down with. And then I'm gonna add a tail using just straight black strung marabou. The marabou tail should be about no longer than the then the sh shank length of the hook. Tie that in, trim off the butt. And I'm just gonna make sure I got a good base to put, that put the dubbing brush on. So I've got my dubbing brush built now. Tie that in at the back of the hook. Wind my tying thread forward. And then I'm gonna take my brush now and just wind it or wrap it to the eye of the hook, keeping my fairly tight and keeping um, each wrap very close to the previous one. Once we get to the bead head, I'll tie the fly off and then again we're going to use a Velcro brush to comb this fly out. So I want to make sure we're securely tied in there before I cut the brush off. And I'll finish the fly off now with a whip finisher. Like so. Perfect. 
cut it off. And then I'm just going to take a Velcro hook, a little, and start pulling some of the fiber out. Again, we, we want to see that red copper wire core come through. I like to keep my leech leeches more on the slender side, just so that they'll breathe more naturally in the water rather than a heavily dressed leech. I'd rather have them uh, sparser. So we're getting that nice comb coming out. And I'm just going to be turning the fly as I get it combed out. And to get an idea how the fly is going to look when it's fully combed out, we want to just wet the fly down a bit. And that way you can pull out any outliers. And I want to trim off a bit off the end here. So we'll finish cutting off some more of the outliers. Now the difference between this leech and the other leech that I just tied with the turbo dumbing block is the color. This will appear deeper in the water column, show up better. It's got a marabou tail, it's a, it'll, a little bit more action to it. Both have bead heads and, and, and on leeches, as with many flies, the bead head, the metal bead heads add flash to the fly, they add weight to the fly. And, it, and the third thing is because of the weight and in combination with fishing them with loop knots, you get more undulating, more natural movement with the fly. So bead headed leeches can be fished on floating lines and longer leaders, sinking lines, type one, type two, or intermediate sinking lines, but also they can be very effectively fished under a strike indicator. And that is news to a lot of fly fishers, but when you think about it, a strike indicator will suspend that fly at a particular depth. You add the weight of the bead, the loop knot, and you can have that fly undulating up and down under that indicator. And if you add a bit of breeze, a gentle wind drift, you can cover a lot of water, a, lot, a zone, a horizontal zone of water that the fish may be laying in or only feeding in a very narrow depth zone. That's why fishing under a strike indicator using a wind drift to your advantage can be so effective. So again, with this fly, tie half a dozen or more and then take a little quarter cup of water in a Pyrex measuring cup, get it just boiling in your microwave and then drop the flies into them. The, the hot water will take the kinkiness out of the material and it'll lay down nice and flat once it's dry, but it will still breathe once it's wet again in the water. And as it dries, after you fished them, they'll lay down nice, just like as you took them out of the water. So the deep water leech, a great color combination, um, deep purpley maroon and the black marabou tail. Tie them slender and on the spar side rather than overdressing because they breathe more naturally in the water.